Hello, my dear students. Very good afternoon. This is Sundar Rabindranathan here. Hi, Atar. Hello, Satvika. Mm. Hi, Vivek Mishra. Hi, Vijay. Akanksha, I'm fine. How are you? Hi, Mitri. Yes, yes, yes. I very well remember you. So guys, kind of welcome to this session uh, at another episode of How Does It Work? What are we going to do here today? We are going to deal with something that we kind of, you know, speak about or you would have uh, seen this happening with multiple people. All right. Uh, an ECG test. So what is this ECG machine? How does it all work? Okay. And that is what we are going to, you know, understand in very, very simple terms. Cool. Okay, so what we will do guys, we will just wait for a few more guys to join. Alright, I think we have been very well less today. Hi Ishani, hi Madhav. Guys, by the way, before I start, tell me this. How many of you have seen, probably, you know, some of friends, family members or somewhere an ECG test being taken? Say I have seen. Let me see. Come on, guys, come on. So a few of you have seen, right? Okay, so electrocardiograph, what is this? Okay, we will see that. Before that, as I said, a quick word about Vedantu Young Wonders. I believe there are a few of you who are new. So this channel is for 6th to 8th grade students. Okay, 6th, 7th and 8th. All sessions will be live sessions. Every day you'll have sessions for 6th, 7th and 8th. All three. And what do we cover? Math, Science, English Grammar and Social Studies. These are the four subjects happening all days of the week, Monday to Saturday. Sunday, we have only a spell B and a Vedic math. Okay. So non-academically, I just said spell B is there, Vedic math is there, coding series happens. We also have how does it work. So overall, it's a, a very, very comprehensive, and beautiful channel, guys. I want all of you to kind of uh, take advantage of it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Right. Let me move on. Yes. Any questions here? <coughs> All right, guys. By the way, if you are looking for full fledged online live learning from uh, you know, Vedantu's platform, there is a beautiful subscription which has come, which is called as Vedantu Pro. You, there, the link for that uh, subscription is there in your description right now. Okay. And please click on the link. And uh, you can, all you have to do is choose your grade. Click on get subscription. You can also avail a very good discount by using this coupon code SRPRO. What is there in the subscription? Unlimited live sessions, unlimited doubt solving, beautiful notes, periodical test assignments, exclusive mentor who provides personal attention to you what not guys okay so it's going to be amazing make use of it coming to what is electrocardiogram right guys typically uh before i show this all right okay let me you know you can see this as well ecg is called electrocardiography and the machine which performs ecg is called electrocardiogram i repeat ECG is electrocardiography and the machine which performs that process is called electrocardiogram. Cool. Now what do we do? See guys, uh, in our body, uh, I'm sure all of you are aware 
that the body has a lot of electrical signals running inside. Is everyone aware? There are electrical signals running in our, in our own body, right? The pulses. Do you agree? Give me a yes. Come on, let me see. Diana, and yes, Menti will be there. Okay, everyone agree? Now, if I use, all right, if there is a machine which records the flow of these pulses when they go through different parts of the body, specifically when it comes to heart, all right, if there is a machine which can record the flow of electric current inside the different parts of the body within the heart, how does that be? How will that be? Awesome, right? The flow of electric current, there will be differences at different places. But the differences will be very, very predictable. But suddenly for some reason, due to illness, sickness, whatever you call, if you see very, you know, unpredictable differences, uncertainties in the flow of electric current, that can be recorded and the patient can be very well cautioned and treated. This is exactly what the electrocardiogram does. Okay, so guys, electrocardiogram is a machine, the ECG is a machine, where, which has, all right, from where electrodes are taken and pasted on the, uh, uh, what do you say, stuck on the person's body, especially near the heart region. There are six re different regions within, you know, near the heart, where the electrodes will be pasted. What is an electrode, by the way? It has to go inside, right? it's an electrical conductor for non-metallic, which can conduct elect, uh, current into non-metallic surfaces. Is our body metallic? No. So it's a non-metallic surface. But to, uh, you know, record the current, to take conduct the current, that is where these electrodes are used. From ECG, you will have multiple electrode wires coming in. And they, with a, a special gel, will be pasted on your heart region. And then after pasting that gel, these elect, you know, ECG wires, they will be electrode wires will be pasted in six different regions in your heart. Are you understanding? So typically, why do you need an electrode? Because for electrode is the only thing, the material which can conduct current and also, you know, helps us record it in a non-metallic surface. That is why you need an electrode. So from the ECG, those electrodes come, small, small strips will be there, the wires with uh, small strips, they will be stuck in different parts of the body. Before that, there will be a special gel applied to your heart. You know, heart means heart region. And then the electrode wires will be, I'll show you all the diagrams, don't worry. Okay, and uh, it will be stuck. The moment the machine is switched on, the electrodes start working. It's a completely zero pain process. No pain will be there. But the electrodes start recording the current and passing it to the machine which keeps, if there are two ways, machine can either print it with a special printer or it can display in this monitor, both are possible, okay. So now what are, what are we doing? The electrical signals generated by the heart are recorded by the electrodes and passed on to the machine. So now let us see how this works. So look at this chest electrodes so from the machine you what you see on the left hand side is the electrocardiography machine right on the right hand side you see that patient who is uh, lying down six places in near his chest region these chest electrodes are pasted before pasting they put a gel and then paste the electrodes okay then once they switch on the technician the ecg technician switches on the machine you know what happens? It starts recording the flow of current inside the heart to different places. And there is a pattern. All right. So that pattern will get printed or displayed in the monitor of the ECG machine. There are different types of ECG machines, guys. So, uh, yeah, it is not used in the heart. It is used for the heart. Okay. Full form of ECG is electrocardiography. Okay, so till this, are you clear? 
Any questions till this? Hi Shivam. Guys, help me understand till this. Are you clear? Why do you need an electrode? Because you need to see just pasting on the body. It's a non-metallic surface. From there, if it has to record the current, carry it and then pass it on to the machine, you need an electrode. That is why electrodes are pasted on different six regions near the chest. Clear? All right. Now, <clears throat> Now, how does it work? So generally, when the heart, heart has to perform, you know, it performs two functions, contraction, all right, and then it pumps, right, expansion. When the heart contracts, the pulse will be in different way. When it expands, the pulse will be high because it has to pump the blood when it expands, right? Now, all these are, there is a, it doesn't, you know, once it will not do slowly and suddenly it will not do fast. There is a pattern. Heart does pumps the blood in the same way. Okay, so that pattern, this flow of electrical current is recorded in the machine. So, you know, it works on the principle that when it contracts, the current will be less. All right, because it is contracting. And when it pumps, the current has to be high. Right. And these, uh, this is exactly, this electrical patterns are recorded in the ECG machine. So the person is made to lie down and in this chest region, one, they, a, a small gel is pasted and then they stick the chest electrodes. The, the other end of the electrode will be with the machine. Clear? So the electrode picks up the current and transmits it inside the machine. Okay. And... Uh, yeah, the electrocardiograph takes that recording, amplifies it and records them on a paper. It can be a paper or a monitor, both. Remember, in an electro ECG, an a sensitive lever, very sensitive lever, small pin like lever, which is exactly what will pin, print everything. A modern ECG can also contain an oscilloscope. Oscilloscope is the display mechanism. An instrument which will display the reading in the screen. It's called oscilloscope. Clear? Okay, by the way guys, ECG is invented by William Einthoven. He's a Dutch physician. It happened in 1900s. Beginning of the 20th century. Almost 100, 120 years ago. Okay? Right. Girish Garg, electrocardiograph is a machine, electrocardiography is the process. So look at that. So this is a display. It is not going to print, but it is showing in the display. Most of the ICUs in hospitals will have this kind of a machine to show the display. Guys, Ravi Chaudhary electrode is uh, a conductor of electricity, okay, a special material which conducts electricity even on non-metallic surfaces. Our body is not metallic, right? So you need to use an electrode material uh, connected to ECG and that material is pasted near six parts in your chest, near your chest region. Cool? Okay. So look at it guys, the machine records the electrical current as it passes through the heart. When heart contracts, how is the electric current? When heart pumps out, how is the electric current? It keeps recording. See here, this is the heart rate of a normal person. See any uh, heart rate between 60 to 100, all right, uh, beats per minute, we call it as BPM. 60 to 100 beats per minute is okay. If it is less than 60 to 100, less than 60, all right, and greater than 100, both are abnormal. You call them as uh, there is a you know a name for that. Just slip my mind, guys. Okay, but below 60 as well as above 100, 
बोथ आर अब नॉर्मल हार्ट रीडिंग्स क्लियर प्रिंट मशीन इज ऑलरेडी आई शोड राइट सी हियर दिस इज द प्रिंट मशीन वॉट यू सी हियर इज अ प्रिंट मशीन okay so this is a no, you know a machine with similar osc oscilloscope an instrument which can show it in the display now this is a normal heart rate guys now you see there are three different waves as it pass there you know see you see uh, it is mentioned there there is an rr interval right yes how many squares are there between two intervals four large squares are there generally you have to take the number of squares and divided by you know 300 divided by the number of squares so if you want to know your heart rate how to read an ecg report very generally you all you have to do is find out how many squares are there between this uh, you know two two intervals and 300 divided by that number so in this case it is 4 here so 300 by 4 is 75 beats per minute for that person whose ecg report is right now shown on your screen singing queen driti william antoine he is the one who invented it dutch physician okay now shall we see an abnormal one ready see here there is a lot of variation the squares are not even see first rhythm you see nine small squares second rhythm you see 15 small squares that means heart is not evenly pumping so irregular heart beat is found so are you getting it this is an irregular it's called atrial fibrillation irregular heart beat is have is present here dobro i have to check on that it's a special gel i know I don't know what exactly is the ingredients of that gel. Okay, right. Yeah, Pravakar ready. There are three different waves. One is called a T wave, R wave, S yes wave. Three waves will be there. Typically, to record when the heart contracts, when it pumps, etc. The different readings. Okay. now i'll say i'll show you guys that also now look at at the placement of the precordial electrodes okay so three electrodes are placed exactly in the heart region and three you know near the chest region when they take an ecg these are the common places where they pasted okay Hi. Who is this? Hina. Yeah, I have to go Hina. Guys, see here. R wave, P wave, T wave, right? Now you see when it starts, when the heart, you know, contracts slowly. Ah, can you can you see when the heart contracts, the red uh, flow, the blood flow is in P wave, right? And when the heart pumps. the blood blood flow is in r wave correct and again when it comes back it takes some time that's called a t wave i don't want to get very deep into it guys but generally you have this p wave r wave and t wave <clears throat> in any ecg doctors are very very particular about this hmm so what can you expect during an electrocardiogram 10 electrodes will be attached to you different places just to see if the blood flow is properly happening but chest is majorly important so electrodes transmit the heart's electrical pulse to the ecg the ecg either prints it on a page or piece of paper or displays it on a monitor right see irregular very irregular heart beats are sign of heart failure okay signs of heart failure 
so why should you take an ecg test <clears throat> if you have symptoms of a heart disease like chest pain not able to breathe well light headedness you will have feel dizzy right that's called light and so fainting spells all right so there are times when you suddenly fainted stroke suddenly you are not able to see vision changes numbness weakness all these cases they take ecg test and check because it has a lot to do with the flow of blood all these things have a lot to do with the flow of blood and subsequently oxygen okay devanshi yes very irregular heartbeat is a sign of heart failure if you leave ignore it very high chances of the person to succumb cool okay guys are you ready for a menti tell this are you clear give me a yo okay a quick recap for all of you electrocardiogram is the machine electrocardiography is the process it's called ecg in general it is a test taken where in that test electrodes are pasted all right in the, through special wires in the chest region at different regions of the person's body six regions near the chest and the electrodes record specially record the flow of electric current all right the pattern of the flow of electric current in the person's heart when the heart is contracting and expanding okay then based on that pattern the doctors will analyze if the pattern is proper or if there is any deviation all right they will find out what is the issue if there is a irregular heart beat or which part of the heart is not functioning well also you will be able to say okay this is what we call as an ecg test okay right guys girish is asking sir what is about numbness guys numbness generally happens when blood flow is stopped or is reduced to a part of the body so for that also ecg helps right that is the reason numbness happens see well, sometimes when you put your hand and sleep you know and uh, till whole night you would have slept like that morning when you wake up you will not feel your hand at all it will be completely numb because with your head you have totally stopped or blocked the flow of blood okay so if you continuously hold something without the you know stopping the flow of blood that uh, part will become numb cool fainting spells means many occurrences or occasions where the person has fainted okay any other question guys light headedness means you know you will not feel that you will feel as if you are in another world very very you know it's similar to dizziness but uh, it's a little blank out kind of a stage okay why do we need it this uh, right now right there in front of your screens if these are the sicknesses that you are encountering you need an ecg test simple clear dizziness is you feel very you know you are not able to feel steady you feel very unstable okay guys moving on to a menti now so guys i want you to open a separate browser window type www.menti.com m e n t i menti.com I repeat m e n t i menti.com Once you go there it will ask you for a quiz code Precautions do regular exercises keep your heart healthy don't take too much of stress ensure your food diet you know uh, routine is very proper with enough fruits and vegetables and less of oil and fats nothing more these are the precautions 
Okay, the quiz code is 9266727. I repeat, the quiz code is 9266727. <clears throat> 9266727 Come on guys join fast Hmm Thirty seconds. First question will be on your screen. We have five questions only. Nine two. The code is nine two six six seven two seven. Hi, Kushi Mandane. Welcome to Vedantu Young Wonders. All right, guys. I'm going to start the quiz. First question on your screens. Now, what is an ECG test for? To check your heart's rhythm, to check your kidneys' rhythm, brain's rhythm. None of these. Come on, you're a sitter, right? Hi Lucky. Savita, this can be for any class. These are general knowledge topics. Yeah, to check your heart rhythm. Good. Almost all of you got it right. Ansh, Kishan, Disha, Diya, Uday. Top five. Takshil, Tanu, Rishan, Kushi, and Danwen. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Question number two. Three more to go. Is ECG test a painful one? Yes. Not at all. Very, very painful. None of these. One hundred and thirty-two of you got this right. Good. Ansh, Molik, Rishan, Disha, Danwin, top five. J, Sidan, Siddhi. Tell info about seventh class. Today it will be released. Don't worry. Dia. Question number three. Just two more to go. What information does ECG give guys about a person? This test. It speaks. It gives information about immune system, heart rate and rhythm, brain capacity. None of these. So guys, come on. Seven, six more seconds. We are going to complete the session now. Okay, 170 of you got this right. Good. Hmm. 
Danven at the top now. Very close, guys. Very close. Malik, Disha, Jay, Rishan. Top five. Siddhi, Roman Reigns, Siddhant, Tell, and Dia. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One more to go after this. Question number four for all of you. What are reasons a person needs an EKG? EKG is the device. Why should a person take this test? Irregular heartbeat, congenial heart defects, coronary artery disease, all of the above. What possibly? What could be the reasons why a person needs an EKG? Guys, EKG is electrocardiogram. Okay, don't get confused. Ah, guys, for any heart related ailments, you need to know how the heart is functioning. For that, EKG is a must. All the above is the right answer. Maulik. Maulik, Dev Jet, Rishan, J, and Hitesh. Top 5. Aditi, Vijay, Esther, Priyanshi, Abdeep. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The final question for now. For this session. Here we go. And the question is. A normal resting heart for adults. What is the average I said? How many beats? 100 to 120. 60 to 100. 120 to 160. Yeah. Now I remember guys. I was telling you what it is. Right? 60 to below 60. One is called tachycardia. Above 100. is called bradycardia. This, the so, be, so it is 60 to 100. I'm sure all of you chose it. So, below 60 is called tachycardia. Above 100 is called bradycardia. Who is winning? Oleg or who? Mm. Guys, two people are winning, I believe. It's a tie. Devjit and Malik. It's a tie. Well done, both of you. Congratulations. Hitesh, Rishan, Jay, Vijay, Aditi, Abhidip, Esther and Prashamsa. Awesome job. Keep it up, guys. You are a part of the leaderboard till the end. Great job. Congrats. So, guys, I'm sure there are many of you who would have... Uh, you know, kind of tried doing it. You got right answers, but you could not make it to the leaderboard. It's still okay, guys. It's still okay. As long as you try. Now you know what is the ECG test. What does it record? All right. And uh, how, you know, how to calculate heartbeats in an ECG paper generally, in general cases. Right? Who invented it? All these things. I hope the session was useful for all of you. Guys, I'll meet you at 6.30 in the evening. Until then. Do not forget to like the session. Very important. And newcomers, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much. I will meet you at 6.30 with a lovely class on social science. Until then, this is myself, Sundar Ravindranaran, signing off. Bye-bye.